I was cheated. I was holding on to the part. Just one little teeny snip, and I was holding on to it, and it's still... That's cheating. I was holding on to it. That's cheating. Found it. Some of you who live in the south or humid areas may recognize these. You'll see it hanging in the tarbis in the background maybe. These are little uh, like 30-day dehumidifiers. And down here in Florida, we certainly need them. Although today is a nice dry day. It's not usually the case. I know I said I was going to make the other Heracles in RAF markings. But I think I'm going to save this for the kit. The other Heracles for the kit bash because I just got a cool idea. Well, hello, Blue Troopers, and welcome back to the Tarvis. I uh, got a pretty good bit of modeling done today. Made headway on uh, three models and got one essentially finished. I had forgotten about that Horizon Models uh, Redstone missile. I had built it and, and talked about their models. Great kit. I really enjoyed it. I've got two more of their kits sitting right here on the short list to get built. But i would gotten so sidetracked, all I had to do was paint it since it was the redstone version. Just basically olive drab and some decals. So it's all done and it's up on the... I, I was so happy with it. I, I put it up on the on missile row up there in, in the house. It's on display uh, on in my living room with the others, the Vanguard and them. So uh, that was a pretty quick job. Pretty straightforward. Now... Uh, you know, I don't really get into the hyper detailing. I, I mean, there's all kinds of little things you could do to it, but <sighs> with these eyes. Um, so uh, the P80 has, I, I was borderline. It came out okay. And I was like, oh, it came that close to turning into a, a fantasy build of a post-war jet racer. And since my F86, that because most of my Korean War shelf, that stuff I built a while back before I had all this and, and the builds are kind of rudimentary. And I was like, you know, I could just go ahead and sand down the F-86 and put them both in racing colors and I'm going around the pylon, you know. The F-86 has got the dash speed like the GB did, but the uh, uh, P-80 would have the tight, you know, area turn like the uh, Weedle Williams racers did, you know, kind of do a, you know, you know, national air races, you know, 1951. But... It turned out good, and I was like, nope, I've got the decals on the way for the Korean build. I'm going to go ahead and just, for me, it's good enough. I mean, it would, nothing I would ever put on a table at a show or anything. The blemishes are, are still there, but you have to look to see them. Sitting on the shelf, I'm not going to notice them. And, you know, my standard is, eh, looks good on the shelf. So, it's a save. And uh, it, one of the things is I had uh, used, a, I'd used that uh, different aluminum paint, colored paint, on the drop tanks. Well, it turned out... And some of you guys would warn me about this. I'd gotten all the purple power out because I'd rinsed everything thoroughly, but there was still a little water in there, so I saw when I'm dripping. Well, there was a little discoloration. And at first, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to pull it off and repaint it. I thought, wait a minute, when I put the decals on there and put a little weathering on this, that's actually going to work. A happy accident. So take the win. The uh, Tamiya New York Airways helicopter kind of a mixed bag that that's a surprisingly difficult I went ahead and went with the with the New York Airways straight up color pattern the, the hardest one of them all to do and be, between you know the smaller scale and my big hands and, and everything I'd, it, it's like okay it's gonna need a lot of touch-up work uh, I the the mask the liquid mask did okay I still have a lot of cleanup to do on the windshield but uh, I, I think I can make it look presentable one of the gears broke off but you know that happens uh, so it's coming together to, uh, it was weird trying to use the exact you guys ever know see and i'm using i used about a pound of tamiya tape i mean the good expensive stuff i wanted to really do this right to me a tape to me a model to me a paints keep it in the family so uh i uh when i was cutting that pattern which by the way is very lightly embossed on the uh, uh the model for the new york airways color scheme so they do give you a little bit of a guy but nothing that you'll notice if you don't use it and that was a nice trick but and i marked it off ahead of time and everything and cut around it and all that stuff and but somehow it's the cut looks good but then when you paint it it's just not exactly right so to get the white trim i'm going to probably use my my white uh uh stripe decals uh it, it, that's the only way i can see doing it i thought about go ahead and trying to make one big decal for the belly uh but 
Nah, I think, you know, let's just make it old school, you know, tape, paint, and, and uh, so then we'll see how it comes out. And when I'm done, I'll weather a little, that'll hide a few blemishes. Well, um, Mike Machat had told me that the uh, ones I used eventually had these uh, FOD protectors on the intakes because they had a couple of them uh, end up in the river, uh, although they float. Uh, but uh, no, this one is before that. It doesn't have the, the FOD protectors in it. And that's on the intakes of the engines. I also noticed I made one little boo boo. The intakes were supposed to be white, not blue, but at this point I'm just, you know, close enough. Uh, so that's going to take a lot of work to, to, to get presentable. But you know what? It, from a distance, like again, it'll look good on the shelf. And uh, I'm, it, it was kind of a mixed results uh, you know master model would look at it and go ah, yikes you know uh, put that one down in the basement and never look at it again but uh, for me i'm like hey you know well lines are straight you know touch it yeah yeah i can i can, I can work with that so uh as far as the uh uh heracles went a lot of advance made on that um got the decals on the bottom you know those those instruction sheets could be better it took a little while for me to suss out exactly where everything was supposed to go but i eventually figured it, i mean with the strut arrangement they, they show you but it's like okay there's where one end goes where does the other end go and between using some pictures and the instructions i finally figured it out but uh so that's uh, what we got done today the p80 is uh, waiting decals the heracles is i'm letting everything i've got done on it firm up before i uh, continue a lot of work to do on the uh, helicopter but it's starting to look like something now i know my paint job on the belly is not exactly straight and everything but like you know what i'm gonna be happy with it and of course the uh redstone missiles on the shelf so pretty busy day of building and uh that's where we're at with that well uh guys uh i want to thank everybody for all the uh, nice emails and messages and everything we'll talk to you later and as always model on